Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be starting to do these videos one every week and it will be a quick video just to show you an idea on how to use your scraps. I actually first shared this during a Facebook Live and it was really well received and lots of you were sharing your cards and really liked these quick ideas on how to get the most out of your paper pads because when you've got nice sized scraps, I always keep mine in an envelope or a clear envelope, I'll show you in a moment. And um, they're the ones that I go to first before I go back to the original paper pad because you can usually you know use those scraps but then you start to get the smaller pieces and um, again you can still make beautiful cards so this was one of the ones that I done during the live and this is just strips of half inch different pattern papers from the same collection just to make this really nice background now um, during the live one of the ladies said about adding glitter into the white areas here and I'm actually going to show you that one on today's video and I did do that technique during the herringbone um, video that I have um, I actually done it as a sample for Trimcraft so I will link the picture in the blog that I will have to sit alongside this video and um, we're going to, yeah like I said we're going to do that now but you can do it with the herringbone technique as well which is a really fun way to use up your scraps very popular over on our group and I'll link that tutorial up there as well so I'm going to go straight into the, into the tutorial so this is a 6x6, I'm going to do today's on a 5x7 Seven. and what I've got here so if you don't want to have some glitter in these gaps here all you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that's four and three quarters by six and three quarters or if you're doing a six by six you'll want it to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters white piece of cardstock I've then cut a selection of scraps half an inch but all different lengths okay but you to do this kind of track effect you want them all the same width because you want them to all be able to sit nicely together and um, I'll show you here I'm using the secret garden scraps from Dovecraft it's a beautiful collection and all the scraps work really well together so that's what I've used and I've, I've not got a mass amount left actually so it's really nice to pull this out and actually you know try and I really want to get this all finished and then you know we pay money for these um our, you know paper pads it's nice if we can use pretty much every single bit of it so what I've also gone ahead and done is I've cut this piece here which is double-sided sticky sheets if you don't have double-sided sticky sheets you could cover the same size so I've cut this down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters so it's going to sit perfectly over this mat layer here but if you don't have the sheets you could cover this piece of cardstock with your double-sided tape rolls okay or you can just use liquid glue as well and cover the whole thing but you'd have to be quite quick because otherwise it would probably start to dry now the sheets that I always buy these ones here and they're by stick to anything and this one here it's A4 double sided adhesive sheets and you get I believe it's five yeah five sheets there that you get so I've got that's my card blank that's my five by seven and then I've got my smaller mat here so I'm just going to peel the backing off of one side Okay, and then I'm just going to very carefully sit this over this sheet here. You can always trim away anything on the trimmer at the end. And now I'm going to peel off the top side there. So now I have this sticky area to be able to create this background. Like I said, if you don't want to add glitter, you don't need to do this. You'll just be sticking your strips directly onto your plain paper. Now I'm just going to pick a strip, so I'm going to go for this one here and I like to start off by going right off the sides so rather than just starting in the middle, that way I can find I can get a, a good angle and then I can work from that, so I think I'm going to do about there, so I'm going to lay that one down like so then I'm going to get another strip and I want to leave about one eighth of an inch, just a couple of millimetres and I'm going to leave a gap, whatever gap you decide on you need to then keep the same throughout so I've stuck that one and when we cut all this off use these pieces to make another card so you'll probably find you can get you know two or three cards from those same scraps there we go and then I'm going to grab this lilac one here and I'm going to sit that there and actually then that will be enough so if I just bring this up you can see all the little white areas there are sticky and that's where we're going to tip the glitter over at the very end then I've got the floral one here so I think I'm going to add and you just want to kind of stagger them so where I've got them joining there I'm going to bring this join up a little bit higher again keeping that same small little gap and then I'm going to bring this one down here and just lay down each one first kind of hover it just to make sure it is going to obviously stretch that one there and then I want to bring this darker one in and come down to about there 
and just keep covering. So I've kind of just missed it there, but I can probably trim that off so I'm not too, too worried there. And then I'm gonna come in with this one again and just keep working your way along the whole sheet until you've covered it. Okay, so I've covered my whole piece there, even that tiny little section there with the little bit of the purple rose one. And then I'm just gonna flip it over, grab some scissors, and you're just gonna trim everything away. Okay, so now we have that beautiful background. So next I'm gonna grab a sheet of copy paper, and I've just got some silver glitter here. And I'm now just going to Pop it all over the card and then just with your finger just go over all of those gaps rubbing in that glitter until you can't feel anything sticky. Okay now you can see that gorgeous sparkle catching the light from all the glitter in all the gaps there. It looks really really nice. Like I said, I did do this as a Christmas version. It looks really nice and um, already we've had many people, members in the group, they've been sharing their lovely versions using this very simple and quick technique. So, you know, using your scraps is always a great thing to do as well. If you're kind of in a bit of a rut, not really sure, you want to make something but you don't know what to do, I always love to just create backgrounds and um, using your scraps is a nice way as well, especially if you don't want to <laughs> cut into some maybe new paper pads that you might have, you know, you can still make lovely things with scraps. So I'm just adding some foam to the back here just to give the card a little bit of dimension. And then I've got my hello here, which I've used from, from this set here. You can see the hello and it's got its shadow there as well. And it's the Bright Rosa Friend words. And um, I'll link the secret garden papers as well because I've made so many lovely projects using that paper pad. Um, and doing these kind of things is a great way to make a matching card if you've made a gift bag from the paper pad or a gift box. This is a nice way to then have something matching. So I'm just gonna pop that along the bottom. I die cut the hello in some silver and then in some foam. And then I just die cut the shadow in the white card stock. So you can see that there's a lot of dimension. But there is the finished card. Okay, so I'll bring it up a bit closer there. Really, really nice, very simple, easy effect. So don't worry if you don't have the double-sided sticky tape or the sticky sheets, because you can still create this gorgeous version here with that crisp white background, and I think it looks just as nice. So that is my first kind of scrap, use your scraps video, and um, I hope you like it. Look out for the future ones, I'm gonna start building a playlist that's just dedicated to using your scraps, because I think it's something that we all have, and um, it's just nice to be able to share some ideas on how to use them. So thank you for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye.